Hello and welcome to Random Things. This is Ty and today I am going to unbox my newly arrived Jupiter Defiant rear cargo rack that I got from JupiterBikes.com. Um, I actually got it from the OEM. Now typically I would actually go on Amazon and look for an aftermarket accessory um, because they tend to be quite a bit cheaper um, but because of the screw hole configuration and how wide this rear end is not my rear end, this rear end. Um, that's why too. Um, it, I just couldn't find one. I mean, I must have went through five or six different bike racks and none of them worked. So I went back onto Jupiter website and they actually had it in stock. So I went ahead and ordered one. It was 59 bucks um, plus tax. And then they charged me about 10 bucks for shipping. I really don't like paying for shipping. I'm so, so spoiled by Amazon Prime. But I had to pay for shipping. So now I was around 75 bucks or something like that. Um, it took about a week to get. So now I'm excited. I want to put this on and see uh, what kind of pannier bag will fit on there and all that stuff. So that will be the next step. But first things first, let's go ahead and unbox this and put this on. Make sure I don't cut my legs. Okay. Well, that's great. It's awesome. Oh, there it is. I was like, where are the screws? There they are. Hmm. Okay, so a little space for a rear reflector. Um, Go right there. Outside mount. All right, let's get to it. It's pretty wide. Wow, it's really wide. So this rack is pretty wide. So it'll be interesting um, when it comes time to get a pannier. Okay, so the tool you need for this is a three millimeter Allen wrench. Now. What I like to do is whenever I get some of these throwaway tools, I like to cut off the end of the Allen wrench. That way I can stick it into my power drill. Makes that part so much faster. Second thing is, if you get yourself some Loctite, I like the blue stuff. It lets me take things apart again. If I screw it up, I need to undo it. There's a stuff that will basically lock it in forever, but I like the blue. It's good enough for me, um, but it's definitely something that's helpful um, when you're riding out in the streets and you're shaking around, um, the screws can pop out. So it's good to actually kind of uh, use some Loctite to kind of help. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started. And the last one. Finish it up with hand tiny. Don't use the uh, the power drill in stun mode, cause uh, you'll really kind of potentially could strip things. So you want to do that final tightening with your hand so that you can get a good feel for if you over tighten it, cause uh, tight is tight. Too tight is broke. All right. Okay, the first thing I notice about this particular rack is how wide it is. Boy, I told you that uh, when I went through some of the other racks, it just I couldn't find one that can fit the uh, the wide load. But uh, this one is definitely wider. So, so you have an idea. So it looks like from outer support to outer support, we're looking at. 
10 inches. And then the bike seat actually lands right there. And so from there to here is 13 inches. 13 inches. Overall, it's 15 inches. But if you're looking for a pannier now, then you're looking for something that can go maybe 10 inches wide, 13 inches. You know, one option too is to maybe put a piece of board or plastic over this so you can get a little bit further out. And that way you can have a longer pannier. Um, so I have to now look online to see what my options are. Um, but I'm excited. This having a rear cargo rack definitely um, changes things in terms of you having options to do things. Um, adding panniers. One of the things I'm actually going to look into is adding a second battery so I can run two batteries in parallel. Um, I'll have to figure out how to do that because you know, that's a little tricky because when you run two different voltages, you got to make sure that it drains evenly. And so it may be on and off switch where it picks one versus another or um, you can go to Bolton Bikes and they have a smart little Y that can actually let you run two batteries at the same time even when they're different charge level. They both have to be the same voltage. They both have to be 48 volts but they can be different charge levels so that it can drain um, kind of evenly. And so with that I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like and share button. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That would really help me out. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next random video.